So do you know what questions to ask about buying a condo in Florida? Let's get started right now. Hi friends, I'm Margaret Jackson with the Professional Agent Group at Keller Williams. Today I'm going to give you some really important questions that you should ask when you're thinking about buying a condo in Florida. So one of the first things you're going to want to understand the answer to is basically how you can pay for it. Now, if you're using cash, you're probably good to go, yet you still might want to understand whether the building is actually el eligible for financing as it's currently a changing situation and maybe it will affect your property value. So new changes have come into effect this month and it's after the Surfside condo collapse. So Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are now requesting homeowner associations, condo associations rather, fill out more detailed information about property conditions after that Champlain Tower condo collapse that killed 98 people. So Fanny and Freddie rightfully right, want to know if America's condo complexes have deferred maintenance or structural safety issues. So to that end, the agencies on January 1st and February 28th instituted new questionnaires for certain applicants regarding the structural integrity of the condo community and whether any code violations are anticipated. Well, Freddie Mac's requirements are designed to help ensure that residential buildings with that aging infrastructure are safe for residents and the condos and co-ops that need critical repairs have a plan to do so. The challenge right now, though, is that the condo boards don't know what to put on the form and don't want to be held liable, so some are deciding not to fill it out. You know, even then, because many buildings here are not eligible for traditional financing anyway, after that, it also depends on why are you actually buying it? Is it for a primary residence, second home, investment? And how much money are you putting down? So next, you definitely need to find out what's included in that monthly condo fee. Every single building is different in the way they manage the building budget. So it's really important that you understand what's included. The fee is directly tied to the anticipated cost of providing the included services and they do have a budget for every year. So some go all the way up to including cable and internet packages and management services and concierge services and some buildings have a lower budget because they don't include all of those additional things. So what's included in the condo fee? So if you can comparing two buildings you can really compare apple to apples and understand what you're getting for your money. So you want to know those things. Next thing you're going to want to ask is are there any upcoming or pending assessments? So this is something you can typically go directly to the management company for and ask. Maybe it's been discussed that they're going to do some type of assessment in the future and maybe even the seller isn't aware of it. Now maybe they don't need to do assessments, maybe there's a lot of money already in reserves to take care of any projects but it's just really important to know that. And in our area, because we're close to the water, salt water does cause corrosion and degradation and it does cause wear and tear. So there is ongoing maintenance needed, so it's a good idea to ask. Next, find out about the rules and regulations of the building. Um, things like, you know, are there pets allowed or can you rent the property? If you are allowed to rent it, can you rent it in the way that you were intending? So never assume that you can do a short-term rental because most communities have reg regulations around that and a lot of them just don't allow it. There's just a lot of little nuances that go into every single building's rules and regulations. So please, please, please read them. It's not something that your agent can do for you. Next is parking. Parking's a huge commodity in condo communities and buildings. Parking spaces are valued features. So make sure, you know, what type of parking is it? or isn't included? Do you get a valet space? Is it deeded? Is it assigned? Or is it just open parking? Some parking may be open, others may be under cover with carports or underneath the building, which is really nice in the summer heat. Next thing you're going to want to know about is how is the building managed? Some buildings are self-managed, but most do use a management company. That company could be local, but they often do manage a lot of other buildings and there's not necessarily someone on site. Some, though, do have managers on site who manage the day-to-day -day business of the building. So if that's important to you, make sure to ask up front how is the building managed and don't assume. 
There is a lot that goes into purchasing a condo in our area. If we can help you further, let us know. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of our others.